Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about the Robot HMI, a tool for Blender, which helps you to create awesome animations and simulations within Blender. The main features of the Robot HMI are split in two sections. The first section is the armature himself, which is working with the inverse kinematic. And the second part is the visualization with three buttons and six sliders. A slider for each axis, buttons for syncing to the armature, saving the position and resetting the position. Let's talk about the first button of the robot HMI. It is Sync Robot. After you open the Blender, you need to sync the robot with the armature. And this can be done with a Sync Robot button. The next button I want to talk about is the Save Pose one, which is creating a keyframe for each axis in the timeline. Let's add another position. To create a new position, we have to move the timeline marker, move the robot axis to the desired position, and then we can save the position. Let's do this again. Save, move the marker, save. Well, let's play it, check what we did so far. the last button, the Reset Pose button. Reset Pose is resetting the robot axis to specific values. In our case, it is the default canon position of the KUKA robot. And as you already saw, we have for each axis a slider, which directly manipulates the axis within the minimum and maximum values. Another feature of the robot HMI is the armature himself. The armature himself is a inverse kinematic. The inverse kinematic allows us to manipulate the robot in the Cartesian space, which means in the world coordinate system. For example, if, if I now select the axis 6 and activate the transfer mode with G, you can see I can move the robot in X, Y and Z direction. To create animation simulation in Blender, you will need both systems, the XY's forward kinematic and the inverse kinematic. And those are the features of the robot HMI. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.